said this at the beginning of the video, make sure you guys are using Android 16, the Sparking and the EX Android 16, because they will be able to help you get that little boost that you need for your Rising Souls and your Super Soul. So, adding this at the beginning for the rest of the video. Enjoy. What's up, guys? It's Rocky here. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. <laughs> Welcome back to Game with Cosplay. Today we have Dragon Ball Legends, which I try to do my very best to upload every single day on the channel. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm doing as best as I can to upload Dragon Ball Legends every single day. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get on in today's video. Also, my like goal for today, give me that spirit bomb energy. We're trying to hit 10 likes on today's video. If you guys are able to do that, please do so down below. And before we get into today's video, we're gonna go ahead and redeem some of this stuff. And we're gonna discuss my best messes that I've done. It's only been four hours. We're literally four hours into the new update. And these are my best methods that, I, methods that I'm going to show you guys on how to get the most out of this event. And getting your free to play Android 21. As you guys can see, I've already done a lot of requirements. And uh, I'm getting a bunch of her um, character shards. Now that I've completed a lot, I've used, I mean, literally, I've been grinding this event like crazy. I've used 700, over 700 energy tickets now. And she should be getting a limit break. Yep. So we got her at four stars so far. We're just going to keep grinding her out. And uh, we're just going to get there. And we're going to get into getting her soul boosted here as well. And then we're going to get all these alongside it. I'm telling you, we're going to be able to level up very quickly right now and I'm going to tell you which events you guys need to focus on on her Legends Road event and where you guys should be spending a lot of your time to be able to get as much as this is done like I said this is not a hard event to grind it's just um, you got to make sure you have the resources I also have a video on my channel which I'll post here or where here it's I think it's right here um, a little banner on how to get your free energy tickets and stuff like that up there but um let's go ahead and soul booster i've never done this a full soul boost in a video before so we're gonna go ahead and do that now also this is another thing that gets me really excited because of the fact that this is a crossover event the first one we've had on dragon ball legends i'm really looking forward to the future for getting the dragon ball heroes characters in this game now because this is just the beginning like this is just the start i'm super super duper excited for what is possibly coming to dragon ball legends i mean this is huge we can get some more fusion characters we can get some more of those unique characters and just pairing them up to be able to fight against shallot or with shallot or zen uh, not zeno um, just the other teams in, in Dragon Ball Legends, just putting them together on a, on a platform like this is just going to be crazy and a great banner to summon on. Okay, so that reminds me. She is a blue type, which we need to go ahead and go into the events shop here. And uh, actually, you know what? We'll leave this at the end of the video. What we'll do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now real quick. So, in order to grind out her character shards, you're going to want to grind out this event right here. This is the first time in rewards you get her unlocked right away. And then you'll be getting these macaroons. Macaroon rare. And then your character shards. I've, like as you see, I've put over 900 energies into all this stuff. And uh, this is where I'd put most of it because this is going to take the longest. But if you're wanting to just unlock her, the one of the events you're going to want to do, this is what I did, is I focused on this Android 16 event, which you'll get your macaroons and your rising souls there. And then I also secondly focused on the cell event, which you'll get donuts on this one and your super souls. You're probably going to want to do them um, just pretty much until you get her fully all the way to God class tier on that. And that's literally all I have for you guys on specifically that. But we're going to go to the exchange shop and just show you guys around here. I'm going to go ahead and replenish my energy now first. Because I really need that. So we're getting 20 of these. Okay. We're going to get 200 of these. 200 skip tickets. 
And if you guys follow my step on what I'm advising you to do, you're going to be able to redeem a lot of stuff that I'm doing right now. Like I said, I've only grinded this event. I woke up at 2, so I've only really been grinding this at, for 2 hours. It's possible if you have the resources, like I said. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the energy tickets. Get those replenished. We're going to try to do for the first time. This is... This, this event is not only good to get a great character, this is probably the best free-to-play character we've gotten in a while. And uh, here's some more energy tickets. We're going to get all these. But you're, after that, depending on where you're at with her and what you guys want to do for Dragon Ball Legends, this is definitely going to be a good banner to do to get a free-to-play character, but also be able, able to, if you're just starting out, to get... A bunch of rising souls so if you're new to the game I recommend you guys do this event it's free to play make sure you guys are also logging in every day because after I believe seven days you'll be able to get another hundred um, character shards for Android 21 and so I'll be grinding out donuts now is the next thing I need to do because um, the macaroons, um, there's really nothing that I needed besides what I already got from there. And I really need some rising souls, as you guys can tell. I ran out already of the blue ones. I haven't really been farming out too much on that. So we're going to go ahead and exchange what we have, the little bit that we have, and get that, and get that done. But she is a powerhouse for sure. And I can't wait to summon on this banner later. Probably tomorrow. I'll go ahead and post the video tomorrow, and uh, so I can have some content for just gradually posted on the channel to give consistency rather than I'm gonna do it right now. But consistency is key. So those are the three events you're gonna do. Make sure you guys are doing this challenge every single day. Do not miss your opportunity. Make sure before you start grinding out anything else that every single day that you log into the game when everything refreshes. Make sure you guys go here to do your challenge battles because you're gonna need to do it for 15 days to redeem some also. Some awesome rewards, which will go to missions. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, if you scroll down, look at that. So, if you do this 5 times, 10 times, and 15 times, you can equal out 300 Chrono Crystals. And where I'm at right now, getting freaking free Chrono Crystals is a pain in the butt. And, like, it's it's extremely difficult. Like, I'm going to have to focus on doing a bunch of rising, uh, uh, soul boosting a bunch of characters. Because that's where most of my free... Chrono Crystals are going to come from because like the missions that I currently have don't really have much. Adventures are extremely difficult to do if you're not doing the one hour events on uh, that. But also a reminder if you guys didn't see my earlier video, this is where you can get some free tickets. Not guaranteed sparking or anything, but from free tickets for the Hungry Monster ticket banner. There you go. But you can also get Chronos here and this is really my two spots that I can really grind out and get some free Chronos now. A little bit of the story, but that's normal. But see, I'm empty on that. I need to do the hyperdimensional duel battles, co-op battles, and I'll get some there. Definitely going to be focusing on PvP because we get that new 700% uh, on uh, PvP that you guys can do. So there's going to be some showcasing on that. If you go to the PvP warning, you guys can see that the godly class tier is now unlocked. So expect to do that. And also we get double... Uh, ratings points right now so make sure you guys are doing it so you guys can get to rank 50 and be able to redeem those rewards which i have never done even since the beginning of the game i don't really need to get there because i mean this three million plus two thousand rare medals the master pack tickets and your adventure slots is just extremely extremely needed so let's go ahead and go back to soul booster just to finish it out out the video click here see how much do we need so yeah Let's see how strong we can really Let's go ahead and just soul boost as much as we can and then go back to do whatever's left and in order to um, do do everything to get her fully unlocked you are going to need so you guys know ahead of time uh, how much you really need to grind, how much you need to do, is, well, let me get this going, I'm out of those as well, so I'm going to have to
to grind that out right now real quick. Let's go ahead and do Plotter's Battle 5. Alright, we got that. Okay, so you're gonna need 36 million Zenny, 3,850 of her Rising Souls. You're gonna need 580 blue Rising Soul Blues, ones, level ones, Super Souls, 36 Super Souls for her. This is all just to max her out. Two Super Soul, one blue, two, uh, not two, 580 Rising Soul, two. You got uh, two Super Souls. Then you also have Rising Soul, three. 602 of those you have super soul three uh you have a couple of those uh, two of those rising soul four you get 580 of those two super soul fours um super uh, rising soul fives 558 of those R super soul five you need two of those and then for rising soul six you need 558 of those R super soul six two of those and then finish it out you need 542 rising soul sevens now like i said if you are a pretty active player i recommend you guys maxing her out as soon as possible because these free to play units are going to be extremely fun to use later and not only are they going to be fun to use later but getting them knocked out sooner rather than later is going to help you grind out some other characters focus more time on some other characters as well so, like, if the next Legends Road character, you're not going to be like, oh, I only got halfway with this one. I need to finish her out with the other one. You'll already be pretty much done. Like, I'm going to be done by t the end of today. I'm going to have all her shards for her characters to get her to six star. And she's already, as you guys can see right now, um, pretty much maxed out. So, she's already at level 5,000. And I'm, I'm just, I'm good. I'm good there. So, got to get these, and then we'll be done. Skip this one more time because I don't think that's enough. Okay, I'm good. I got enough now. <laughs> so, characters back here. Soul boost, and there we go. And the reason I wanted to do this at the end of the video is because this is the first time I'm doing a full soul boost on a character, so you guys can see what I do on screen for the first time, and pretty much just bring you guys on a more personal level right here with me. So we got a four star. We're gonna get her to six star pretty quickly, and I'm literally gonna hop back into that banner. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys one more time in case you guys missed it. Make sure you guys are doing this one to get her character shards. So you guys can see. Do Android 16 to get her Rising Souls. And do this cell event here to get her Super Soul. And as long as you guys do that, you will be able to unlock her. Depending on where you're at, how much you want to grind it out. Discuss it with me. On, you know, If you have any more questions, please let me know. And I'll get with you guys as soon as possible. Um, so, just another added reminder for those of you who play Dragon Ball Legends. Make sure you guys are doing your Ulcer Space Time Rush. You know, we got it for two weeks right now. So, make sure you guys are doing it. Don't miss your opportunity on getting some Chronos there. And uh, some Rush Limited tickets. And that's it for today, guys. Also, do your choice battles. Just making sure I get all the stuff that I need to discuss with you guys gradually today as these are some pretty, pretty important stuff. And then also join me tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball Legends content for the next time I'll be summoning on this banner. Because just wanted to get a little to, to start things off. Um, if you guys don't know my channel, <laughs> I get a lot of my luck in the stepper banner. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But I'm going to film it now.
So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, and share with a friend or two or three. If you'd like to support the channel, you guys can join down below next to the subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated, but not needed. And uh, discuss with me, guys. As always, live free, work hard, and basil. And join me tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball Legends content. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.